Hello guys and welcome to today's episode. Now if you're seeing this video, uh, congratulations. I hope that you've watched all the previous ones. But And if you did, consider this your break, your well-earned break. So now you know a lot of Afrikaans concepts and I thought what we do today is fun. Okay, we'll have some fun. We'll try and see how many of the Afrikaans idioms you know. If you get 5 to 7, you're pretty average. We're doing 20, by the way. Some of them are easy, some of them are a bit more obscure, but we're going to see how much you really know. So these are just ones I found funny. They're not really chosen for their specificity or their, their obscurity. They're just, this is out there. If you, if, if you literally just type in idioms, this is what you'll find. Okay, let's get right into it. As the evil fall, as I will do it. Now, you all know that one person that's really pessimistic that says, oh, the government wants to control our minds. What I'm trying to describe here is a person that always sees the negative or, or the possible negative that can happen. Now, this is what you tell them. If the sky falls, we're all dead. So why stress? Yeah, so it's just basically telling them, uh, won't you moan a little, little, uh, little less? or um, lighten up a little. Don't be so worried about everything that can go wrong. That's the best description. Now, the second one. A doodskleert het geen sakke nie. Now, it's not really funny, but uh, it's, it's true. A doodskleert het geen sakke nie. A death robe has no pockets. I, I'm assuming you already know the meaning. So, but for those of you that don't, um, it's just saying you can't take anything with you to heaven. Now, de giel baikje ane. This is a common one and you might have heard it in primary school, but here you can hear it once again. So, de giel baikje ane is, or to have, wear the yellow jacket, is to be jealous. Now, why the yellow back, uh, jacket? I, I don't know, but maybe you do and you'd like to share it down below. The mm? popper gaan dance. There will be drama. It's the direct translation is the dolls will dance. So that's when you say, "Yes, trouble is coming. Beware." Hoe kalle die akels? Hoe groter die stert? Or lieblike maak jy meeste geras? These two mean the same. So hoe kalle die akels? Hoe groter die stert? The smaller the fox, the larger its tail. And lieblike maak jy meeste geras? Empty cans make the most noise. So this is what you tell, well, when you ref talk about someone that really brags a lot, but he has really very little to show. Um, yeah, I think we all know one or two of those. A man van 12 ambachten in 13 ongelukken. So this is when you're talking about someone with a whole lot of trades. He's a jack of all trades, um, but he has, hasn't really mastered any of them. So yeah. It's not, it's not really a bad thing, but it's not really a good thing as well. So, you know, if you just translate it directly, it's just um, a man of 12 trades, but, but of 13 accidents. That's, that's pretty true. You don't really get many of those. That just means very rare. Uh, or when a, a second-hand coffin, or as rare as a second-hand coffin, pretty, pretty rare. We also have another one called um, the scars is unertant, as rare as a chicken's tooth. Pretty rare as well. Now, how many of you know this one? It's I found it quite funny. It's the first time I actually uh, remember or noted hearing this or reading it. To walk two trails it just means to be drunk. Pretty true, actually. To look for sausage in the dog's kennel. It's exactly what it says. It's trying to achieve or trying to find the impossible or, yeah, trying to find something impossible. Like finding a needle in a haystack. The next one is pretty funny. To try and pull feathers from a frog. Good luck. So that also just means 
to try and achieve the impossible. De cool is die kerk. It means the opportunity has passed. De cool is die kerk. The bullet is through the church. The opportunity has passed or you blew it. Dit gaan my broek skeer. Yep. Dit gaan my broek skeer. It goes torn pants. That means to be broke. Gaan my broek skeer. You keep your cash in your pocket. Keeps falling out. That's the idea. Iemand met twee rechterhande. Someone with two right hands. Now this just means someone that is very handy or very good at fixing things. But if someone is really good at something, you might also say, I have two rechterhande. He's very good with his hands. Mal Jan onder die hoeners. We also have another one for this. A doering onder die roose. Mal Jan onder die hoeners is, is that guy that is always surrounded by a bunch of girls or always goes into the conversation of a girl. Well, groups of girls. And the same is for uh, a thorn among the roses. Well, you can actually turn that one also around and say a rose among the thorns. That's a girl between a lot of boys. So, a, th a roos tussen die doorings, or a toring tussen die roos, the two different genders. And then, a maljan onder die hoeners means, if you would translate it, it would be crazy yarn between the chickens. <laughs> or, in the English one would be crazy jack among the chickens. Something like that. Die more stond het goud in die mond. Okay, so this is really true. But if you don't know what Morestond means, don't worry, you're very normal. Okay, so Morestond is actually just means early morning. Try and Google it, please. I, I, please, try and Google it. You won't find it. How you will find it, however, is with the heart here. The Handfest van Afrikaanse, the Handwoordenboek van die Afrikaanse taal. Now, I'm, this, this is not promoted, okay? This is just true. Okay, so they didn't give me money or anything. Channel is still a bit too small. So, in this book, it's really, really complete. And if you're looking for a word, any word, it's in this book. Okay, I really would suggest if you're serious about learning Afrikaans and really reaching your potential, you will probably hit the roof sooner than you think because of the limited resources online for Afrikaans vocabulary. This book can help you. Okay, but enough of the free promotion. Die more stond het goud in die mond. The early morning has gold in the mouth. It just means that if you rise early, you can get more done or you can achieve more. You can also say, Ek staan more stond op. I rise early morning. Okay? You can actually use that word out of this context now that you know what it means. Tussen die boom en die bas. I recently also heard another one. Tussen die vloer en die polituur. Now, between the tree and the bark. That means it's not going well and it's not going bad either. It's just, meh, it's just okay. The same with tussen die vloer en die polituur. Between the floor and the polish. I, I, re I like that one actually more. It's, uh, yeah. Same thing, actually. God's water or God's acker. Now, I've never heard this one, but I found it um, relevant if you, if you take some time and think about it. Well, not even that much time. God's water or God's acker, that's when someone doesn't care. Okay, so this is a serious topic, and, and you're just like there. God's water or God's acker. There's nothing to do with me. God takes care of his own garden. He takes care of nature. I don't do anything. I don't care. So that's that's the gist of it. This nedi urkis funisiakui. Now this is more often than not used to tell when someone is lying. Okay. So this nedi urkis funisiakui. It's just a small part of the situation or a small part of the truth. Someone is not revealing everything to you. you we all uh, have tried to hide some information when we try and really turn a situation into our favor not saying a certain detail it makes you paint you in a bad light uh, we've all been there so that's when you're just exposing the little tip of the iceberg
<laughs> you can with a blow of peas um put fear onto his body i guess um um iemand's krik op die lijf te jaag or to put a fear onto someone's body it's it's all way of saying something is means to scare someone but to scare him with a blowing of peas well then that just scares him really easily then and that's exactly what this means it's to scare someone very easily and the last one okay so this one you should know but do you know all the connotations das is slang in die gras so we've all heard this one okay this is when something's wrong but how we tend to use it is when we're saying there's a traitor in our midst okay so there's a traitor in our midst or something's wrong something's off i have this sense of dread there's a snake in the grass okay and that's it there's all 20 i the extra ones i added they don't count if you did get them bonus points okay cool let me know down in the comments below how you did out of 20 i'm curious to see how much do people actually know i myself only scored about four to five i think so beat it <laughs> don't go away just beat the score okay i'll see you in the next episode